Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Today we're going to take a look at something extremely interesting that was previously thought highly improbable. Using genuine examples we will explore true 60 FPS in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in Simu, a Wii U emulator. In Breath of the Wild, physics and animations are locked to FPS and the upper limit in that game is 30. For the longest time, this 30 FPS limit, which is believed to be hard coded into the engine, was theoretically unpassable, but Discord user Zalfanos ignored that convention and has found a very exciting potential exploit. To quote Zalfanos directly, the game ties physics, speed, to FPS. Every frame it determines what the speed the physics should be. It will either be 2, which equals 30 FPS, or 3, which equals 20 FPS. It then uses that value to force a weight using GX2 set GPU fence to limit the FPS to what it determined you should be running at. Any deviation from that FPS causes the speed to fluctuate. So if full speed is 30, then running at 15 would be half speed, 60 would be double speed. I've forced a value that sets physics to be 1 equaling 60 FPS. So in shrines, 60 FPS is no longer double speed but full speed aka 1 times speed, but it renders in 60 FPS. The drawback to the current method is that when you are out in the world and getting 30 FPS, you are now getting half speed since physics is still tied to FPS, but set to be full speed at 60. Low end systems could set physics to be 4 equals 15 FPS for instance and not suffer a slow gameplay. Ok so that was quoting Zalfanos directly, let me try and simplify this a little bit. So normally the upper limit should be 30 FPS and that includes physics. Zalfanos has managed to change the upper limit to 60. By doing this we have 60 FPS at 1 times game speed, so that means 60 FPS and normal gameplay. This is absolutely huge, but before you get too crazy, we do have many caveats that need to be explained. Currently, this method only works in shrines because shrines are the only place where we can natively achieve 60 FPS with the aid of fence skip. The reason why shrines can push this upper limit is because they are boxed off areas away from the main map and are therefore much less taxing on the system. What it does is give us the opportunity to display true 60 FPS with a native recording with no manipulation, no interpolation or any other tricks. As stated earlier, with this method 60 FPS equals 1 times game speed, therefore normal speed. So if we go above ground where we are not achieving 60 FPS but we are getting closer to 30 or less, this means we are halving or dividing it even more in terms of game speed, therefore we will see slow gameplay. So clearly this is still extremely experimental because it does not work in the open world. However, it is very exciting to me in my opinion, but there is clearly more work to be done. Perhaps a dynamic solution is required or something else. Performance and FPS is a topic that I've spoken about many many times before and you can check out all of my different videos that I've done on that. 60 FPS and Breath of the Wild have been an extremely hot topic for a long time ever since the game booted in Simu. Breath of the Wild works on a double buffer V-Sync which when lacking enough power locks the FPS in stages from 30 to 20 and 20 to 15 and so on. For those of you meeting this topic for the first time and those of you who have simply forgotten, the previous sped up experience in shrines was never true 60 FPS, it was merely 30 FPS at 2 times game speed ultimately leading to a comical experience. A much closer comparison and true test would be comparing native 30 and 60 FPS both at one time speed with the benefit of additional frames leading to a smoother more pleasant experience. Thanks to Raiko's Simu hook, Zalfonos is able to inject these changes through graphic packs. So there you go people, early days but very exciting, what do you think about what you've seen? If you enjoyed the content, click that thumbs up and if you want to see more from me, remember to subscribe. I've been The Complaining Gamer, take care, have an awesome day and I will see you next time.